ലിയോ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻ വോയിസ് ആൻഡ് ആക്സെന്റ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് എ വോയിസ് വെൻ യു സ്പീക്ക് ഓർ സിങ് വി പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് എ സൗണ്ട് ബൈ ദ മൂമെന്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ഓക്കൽ കാർഡ് ദാറ്റ് പ്രസന്റ് ഇൻ ദ ത്രൗട്ട് ദാറ്റ് സൗണ്ട് ഈസ് കാൾ വോയിസ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് എൻ ആക്സെന്റ് people from different parts of the world pronounce the words of a language in different ways that way of pronouncing is called accent this accent indicates which country or area the person belongs to or comes from kinds of accents a person who learns english may mainly concentrate on learning either british accent or american accent but nowadays generally people are crazy learning about american accent Sometimes they even force the trainers to train them American accent. I personally feel that there is nothing wrong in the demand, but the force is the outcome of their love and passion towards that superpower nation. What's the difference between British and American accents? Yes, is a good question. British English. Generally, R is sometimes pronounced and sometimes not pronounced in british english american english r is always pronounced in american english if it appears or present in the spelling now let's see the difference between british english and american english now we can see two words on screen c a r car and c a r d cart in british english r in car is not pronounced r in card is not pronounced why if you take the word car here r is silent it means in general in british english r if comes at the end of a word is not pronounced and now you take card c r d r here is not pronounced in this word also why you say just c a r d card only why r if comes in the middle of the word succeeded by a consonant sound is not pronounced in general in british english so say car and card if you take american english here we see the same two words car and card below american english in both the words r is pronounced why in american english in general r is pronounced always if it appears or present in the spelling so say c a r car c a r d card now let's go through the course and the needed material to get command or voice and accent the heart of any language the basic material needed to learn the sound system of any language is the alphabet of that language in english we have the ipa that is international phonetic alphabet opposite each and every word in the dictionary we find a kind of script between two forwarded lines if you are able to read that script you are able to pronounce the sound of that word correctly this helps us to speak english with international standards now have a look at the flash cards briefly which will be explained in a detailed way later International Phonetic Alphabet IPA Introduction Flashcard 1 Below the flashcard 1 you see a yellow color symbol At the same time you see two words on screen ship and fish Opposite to these two words ship and fish the phonetic transcription is written between two forwarded lines Now let's discuss first about ship in the phonetic transcription between the two forwarded lines in the place of sh where sh sounds like sh the particular symbol is written and ip remains same so pronounce this word as ship now take fish in the place of sh between the forwarded lines in the phonetic transcription the particular symbol is written where sh sounds like sh f i remains same now you can pronounce this word as fish so when you find this type of symbol in the phonetic transcription 
please take that symbol as sha sound flashcard 2 below the flashcard 2 you can see a yellow color symbol which is equal to the sound of ch in chin ch in teach opposite to these two words you can see phonetic transcription between two forward lines take the word chin in the place of ch where ch sounds like cho the particular symbol is written and in remains same now you can pronounce this word as chin take teach between the forward lines in the place of ch where ch sounds like cho the particular symbol is written and tea remains same now you can pronounce this word tea as t and ch cha sound teach tea ch teach when you see this particular symbol in the dictionary in the phonetic transcription you can take that sound as cho flashcard 3 below the flashcard 3 you see a yellow symbol which looks like theta the particular symbol stands for the sound th in the phonetic transcription you can see two words on screen thin and path opposite to these two words between the two forward lines the phonetic transcription of these two words is written now take the word thin in the place of th in the phonetic transcription where th sounds like tau the particular symbol is written and in remains same now you can pronounce this word as thin take the word path in the place of th where th sounds like tau the particular symbol is written and pa remains same now you can pronounce the word path as path Whenever you see this symbol in the phonetic transcription in the dictionary, take this symbol as the sound. Flashcard 4. Below the flashcard 4, you see a yellow color symbol that looks like D, but it is crossed on the top. At the same time, you can see two words, this and father, on screen. Opposite to these two words, between two forward lines, the phonetic transcription of these words is written. Now, take the word this. Between the forward lines, in the place of th, where th sounds like the, the particular symbol is written. And is remains same. Now, you can pronounce this as this. Now, take the second word father. Between the two forward lines, in the place of th, where th sounds like though, the particular symbol is written. Now you can pronounce fa as fa, th as the, er, er, the father. Whenever you see the particular symbol in the dictionary, in the phonetic transcription, you can pronounce the sound or the symbol as though. Flashcard 5. Below the flashcard 5, you see a symbol which looks like X. That is not X, in fact, there is a combination of A plus C. It is a sound equal to A in bat, A in apple. Now you can see two words on screen bat and apple. Opposite to these two words, you can see the phonetic transcription that is written between two forwarded lines. Take the word bat. In the phonetic transcription between the two forward lines, in the place of A, the particular symbol is written that sounds like A, and other letters B and T remain same. So now you can pronounce this word as bat. Now let's see the word apple. In the phonetic transcription, where A sounds A, the particular symbol is written, and in the place of P P L E, P L is written. Now you can pronounce the word A P P L E as apple. So, whenever you see the particular symbol in the phonetic transcription in the dictionary, you have to take that symbol as a sound equal to A. But some people they pronounce A P P L E as apple. 
Y A P L apple. There is not ya sound. Ya sound is a consonant sound, but this symbol equals the sound of vowel. Don't say apple. It's a apple. So B A T bat A P P L E apple. So the symbol stands for the sound a. The a sound must be pronounced in the throat, not in the mouth. If you pronounce the particular sound in the mouth, it becomes consonant automatically. This particular sound must be pronounced in the throat as a. A is a vowel sound. You may ask me one question: What is the difference between the sounds of consonants and vowels? Simple. All the vowels must be pronounced in the voice box, and the rest consonant sounds must be pronounced anywhere other than. Voice box. Flashcard six. Below the flashcard six, you can see a yellow symbol with a combination of D and Z. The sound is equal to the sound of G in edge, D G E in pledge. So, if you see that phonetic transcription opposite to these two words, edge and pledge. Between the forwarded lines, in the place of G in edge, the particular symbol is written, which is equal to the sound of J. And now you can pronounce E D G E as edge. And if you take pledge in the place of D G E in the phonetic transcription, the particular symbol is written as it is equal to the sound of D G E is equal to J sound. Now you can pronounce P L E D G E as pledge. It means. The particular symbol stands for jo in phonetic transcription. So, if you see the particular symbol in the phonetic transcription next time in dictionary, you have to pronounce the particular symbol as jo sound, pledge, edge, badge, bridge, like that. Flashcard seven. Below the flashcard seven, you can see a yellow color symbol. That looks like n, big n. The particular symbol stands for the sound of n in thin and in chin. Now you can see phonetic transcription between two forwarded lines opposite to these two words. Now let's take the word thin. In the place of n, where n sounds like n, the particular symbol is written. The remaining letters t, h, i remain same. Now you can pronounce this word as thin, and take c h i n. In the phonetic transcription, in the place of n, where n sounds like n, the particular symbol is written, and c h i remains same in the phonetic transcription. Now you can pronounce c h i as c, and n as n, chin. So whenever you see this symbol. In the phonetic transcription, opposite to any word in the dictionary, you can pronounce the particular symbol as n. It means if n comes at the end of any word that sounds like n, the particular symbol stands for the particular ending n sound n. Flashcard eight. Below the flashcard eight, you see a yellow color symbol that is equal to the sound of ng in thing. ng in english ng in hong kong it means if ng comes in the middle of a word or at the end of a word you should not pronounce the ga sound let's see how the symbol has been formed when ng comes side by side the zero shape of g is cut and the tail of g is added to n and the symbol has been made like that is a combination of n and g You should not say thing. Say thing. You should not say English. Say English. You should not say Hong Kong. Say Hong Kong. So whenever you see this symbol in the phonetic transcription opposite to any word in the dictionary, please understand that in NG the ga sound is mute. Flashcard nine. Below the flashcard nine, you see a yellow color symbol that looks like Z. There's a pronunciation of za sound in buzz, za sound in leisure. 
So whenever you see this symbol in the phonetic transcription opposite to any word in the dictionary, please understand that sound must be pronounced as za sound, not ja sound, za sound, buzz, leisure, zero, zoo, like that. Flashcard 10. Below the flashcard 10, you see a symbol which looks like J. In fact, that is not J. Is a symbol equal to sound of ya in yes, ya in yet. So, whenever you see this symbol in the phonetic transcription opposite to any word in the dictionary, please understand that the symbol must be pronounced as ya, not j. The symbol is equal sound of y in yes, y in yet, y in you, and you in university. Rule 10. Pronounce the as the if it is succeeded by a oval sound. Once again, pronounce the as the if it is succeeded by a oval sound. Now here we can see three examples on screen. The you have to pronounce this as the because the next word begins with the a sound. Apple begins with the a sound. A is a oval. So here the is pronounced as the the apple. Next the ant the angle. So in the second word after the a and t and begins with a sound so say the and and next after t h e a n g l e here also the beginning sound is a sound so you can pronounce t h e as the in all these three words the apple the and the angle here in the first example Elephant, E L E P H A N T. Elephant, elephant begins with the A sound. A is a oval. That's why pronounced E H E as the the elephant. Next, E G G, egg. E sounds like A. That's a oval sound. So pronounced E H E as the. So say the egg. And next, last one, E N E M Y, enemy. So, E here also sounds like A. There's an old sound. So, pronounce T H E as the. So, say the enemy. Here in the first example, ink pot. I N K. I stands for the sound E. E is oval. That's why T H E is pronounced as the. The ink pot. Second example, investigation. What's that? Investigation. So, I N E. So, E is a whole sound. So, say the investigation. Next, the invention. Here in the first example, O X OX. O stands for the sound O. There's a whole sound. So, T H E is pronounced as the. Say the OX. Next, octopus. Here, O stands for the sound O. O, there's also a vowel sound, so pronounce the H as the, the octopus, the octopus, and next orange. So in this word, O stands for the sound O, and you can pronounce the H as the, the orange. Now say the ox, the octopus, the orange. Here you can see two examples underground and umbrella where both the words begin with u where u stands for the sound o in the phonetic transcription so u stands for the sound o o is the all sound that's why here t h e is pronounced as the so say the underground the umbrella once again the underground the umbrella rule 12 pronounce the word h a v as have if it is not succeeded by the word to. Once again, pronounce the word H-E-V as have.
if it is not succeeded by the verb to. See the example have your must be pronounced as have. See the example I have a bike. We say like that. But after have to is not there. That's why please pronounce this as have. See in the front of transcription I have a bike. Second example they have a car we say like that but here after have two is not there see in the phonetic transcription you have to pronounce this as they have a car once again i have a bike a car see the first example here we have three children so after have the word two is not there so Pronounce this sentence and have as have. We have three children. And next one, you have a doubt. So after have two is not there, that's why you pronounce it as have. You have a doubt. Rule 14. Pronounce the word HAS as has if it is succeeded by the word to. Once again, pronounce the word HAS as has if it is succeeded by the word to. Example, has to. HAS plus TO2 is pronounced as has to. See the example, a sentence is given here. He has to start immediately. So after HAS, in this sentence, the word to is there. That's why. HAS is pronounced as has. So say he has to start immediately. Here you can see three sentences on screen. And now let's see the pronunciation of HAS here. In the first sentence, after HAS, the word to is there. So pronounce HAS as has. So as in the second sentence and in the third sentence also. Now I read this. He has to attend that party. She has to take up the job. It has to be done by me. Once again, he has to attend that party. She has to take up the job. It has to be done by me. Rule 16. Pronounce the word HAD as had. This is how. We pronounce this word since our childhood. Pronounce the word HAD as had if it is not succeeded by the sound to. Example I had a car. So after the word HAD in the example, the sound to is not there. That's why I pronounce HAD as had. So say I had a car. So we can see now two examples on screen and after the word HAD the sound T is not there so we have to pronounce this HAD has had only. So she had an amazing house. We had much money at that time. Once again she had an amazing house. We had much money at the time rule 18 note had to go can be pronounced as had go once again had to go can be pronounced as had go it means if any word ends in da sound and if the next word begins with the ta sound the d of that word can be pronounced as ta that is optional you may pronounce like this or you may pronounce in your own way this is optional once again had to go can be pronounced as had to go it means if any word ends in da sound and if the next word begins with the ta sound the d of that word can be pronounced as ta that is optional now see 
d versus t is equal to ta sound d it means da sound versus ta sound so ending d beginning ta that equals to ta sound see all these five examples on screen take the first word h a n d that ending d da sound next word towel begins with ta sound in the phonetic transcription you can see the da sound is missing and the only ta sound is there so now you can pronounce this word as hand towel no need to pronounce hand towel da is silent so say hand towel next generally we say grand tour but here da versus ta sound so in the phonetic transcription in the grand d is not there ta sound is only there so pronounce this phrase as grand tour next red tape generally we pronounce like this red tape so in the transcription da sound is missing only ta sound is there the stress is there on ta sound in all the words in all the examples so say red tape r e r a t e i p tape red tape next good taste we say like that good taste in the transcription da sound is missing the ta sound is there and there is stress so say good taste and last one m e d mad t u r n turn we say mad turn in the transcription da is missing only ta sound is there so mad turn is a mad turn now we can pronounce all these these are very beautiful expressions in the entire english language hand towel grand tour red tape good taste mad turn so da sound versus ta sound is equal to ta